hello and welcome to my channel I'm Stephanie this is going to be a fun little quarantine vlog so stay tuned if you want to know what that what that is all about what so I decided um I want to say like last week or so that no actually it's been longer than that a couple weeks ago I had decided that I wanted to do a sort of quarantine vlog where I went on Kindle Unlimited and I read um, books that were set in quarantine times and come to find out there were a lot of books that were like that so uh, I picked a handful of them and I'm going to read them and give you guys in real time uh, thoughts and things like that um if you are not here for spoilers um i would probably say don't watch this video um because i'm gonna give spoilers because they're gonna be in real time thoughts and not uh changed or anything like that so yeah there's that um i'm going to also do a good number of them so here are the books that I have lined up that um, you guys are going to be hearing about so first is well not first but I found an entire series by Jamie Knight and it has like seven books in it they're all novellas they're super super short they're available on Kindle Unlimited and the first one is called um, Under Lock and Key and I believe the series is called Under Lockdown or something like that, but I'm going to be trying to work through as many of those as possible. Um, I have an anthology called Love in Lockdown that I'm going to be trying to get to. Um, I've also found a book called Quarantine Love by Samantha Jones. Uh, I noticed this one is an interracial relationship or interracial couple on the front so I was like yep right up my alley because you guys know I love my interracial couples uh, I found love under quarantine by Kaylee Scott and then quarantine and chill by one of my new favorite authors Kenya Wright um, when I was doing a huge dive into Kenya's backlist of things I noticed that she had this book and I was like oh I have got to get it and I picked it up so um, I am currently reading right now in this moment um, under lock and key it is a office romance so far we have a boss that is obsessed with this uh, either secretary or assistant or something like that for her comp for the company and the assistant is about to be homeless because the place that she was supposed to move into um is telling her she can't move in because she has a dog and he the boss the company uh ceo guy the one that runs everything is like well what what should we do are we gonna have any losses or anything like that because you know this virus is going around and we need to figure out what's going on and things like that so we haven't i haven't gotten to the point where they are discussing you know what's going on with her she has just gotten to the office she's running late but she's a little disheveled but at the same time he doesn't you know he's not exactly sure what he wants to do with this I think he may have overheard her say something about um, needing somewhere to stay and he's like oh yeah this this might work out just perfectly for me um, there's a hint of BDSM within this story so I'm kind of excited to see where that plays out especially since it's a novella and um, let's just I mean I'm just gonna get to it get to it yes I'm excited about this. Okay, hi guys. So I just finished Under Lock and Key by Jamie Knight. And woohoo, was this everything that I needed? It is a short erotic novella that is fire. It was so good. Oh my goodness. It's been a minute since I had like a right out the gate loads of sexy time smoking hot freaking story and this was definitely checking that box ding 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 yes thank you very much we have a ceo named ben who is 
trying to decide what he's going to do with his company because coronavirus is closing down businesses left and right and then we have his assistant or the office assistant named Samantha who we opened to find out that she just got pretty much kicked out of her new uh apartment because she has a dog and the apartment landlord is like nope you can't have an animal here and I thought you were talking about a small little yappy dog versus your big German Shepherd no you can't live here now um so I need you to get your shit out my house or out my apartment or whatever so she ends up going to work and um then she kind of stays after and then Ben sort of uh is like you know why are you still here why don't you go home you know I let everybody else go and he's like okay you don't have any place to go she's kind of embarrassed about saying that and stuff like that all the while he's been attracted to her she's been attracted to him and woo he's in the BDSM lifestyle and is looking for a pet because his uh normal club is closed because of coronavirus and ah uh, it was so hot super insta love but the sex scenes were so steamy oh my goodness um so this is a good one this is a good little novella to uh you know spend your time with during quarantine uh i definitely say check it out bedside review here for what is it do 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 it was quarantine love by samantha jones yeah <laughs> needs to say um this one didn't live up to the um to the hopes and the dreams but then again, who am I kidding? I wasn't looking for hopes and dreams and greatness. Um, this one deals with two people that are affected by the coronavirus. Um, and their meeting is during, um, it's right after the state of Oregon, which is where it's set, uh, is placed on lockdown. But they still end up go out. They still, the two characters end up going out to run. Um, there's a little bit of confusion that it's set in Oregon, but a lot of the terms that are used are European terms, like 1K for a run. Americans don't talk about kilometers when they're talking about going out for a run. No, 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 no. I'm going to go run 1K. I'm going to go run 2K. There wasn't consistency in that at all, uh, either. And, um, yeah, so... Hmm. Then it also took some, um, I guess you could say, a roundabout way of putting in the uh, the symptoms and things like that of coronavirus. Uh, one of our characters ends up contracting coronavirus and spends some days in the hospital, and then all of a sudden it's all clear, and they get to go home and 
because they connected and because uh, the two ca characters connected over a injury during a run and then going to the hospital and stuff like that that's where they started their relationship and both of them have horrible relationship um track records and yeah no <laughs> this book was horrible oh my gosh i'm glad it was a novella so glad it was a novella I'm done with that one um let's see i'm going to just jump right into the next book uh in this exper well not really experiment but uh in this vlog of quarantine kendo unlimited stories and um as much as i want to go back and read the second book in jessica king's nope jessica knight's series for love and lockdown i'm not going to do that I am going to get into Love Under Quarantine by Kylie Scott or Kaylee Scott. I think it's Kaylee um, is my next book. So, yeah, I'll see you guys after I finish that one. All right, guys so it is day two of this quarantine project i didn't think it was gonna go as quickly as it has um it's really funny because i read like two books yesterday i think and i was gonna start a third one but the first one was great and then the second one was like ah, uh, why was this written that it's not an escape because it definitely went into some things that didn't necessarily need to go into and then they tried to like throw a romance in there and I was just like uh, no 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 unacceptable um but so I ended up taking a break on um on what books I was reading I started uh reading what is it Shine Bright by K.A. Lindy and this is the fourth book yes fourth book second book in the second duet for the Diamond Girl series and I'm enjoying that. I hope to finish that today and then get into another quarantine book. Um, but I needed a little bit of a break from the quarantine books. And it's funny because I've been hinting at this on like my Goodreads. I'll do like my uh, sort of mini update type thing that goes on with my Goodreads. And my friends, my bookish friends are like, hey, what are you uh, why am i all of a sudden seeing all these quarantine books um popping up on your updates what, what what's going on you know clue me in and i'm like it's a quarantine project i'm doing a little something something and they're like hey well how about you read this book for me because i want to you know see if i want to read this or not or you know something like that so i'm super excited i have uh, quite a few books um i don't plan on letting this go any longer than a week because i want to have this out to you next week which is the following week after i record it and stuff like that so um it won't be more than seven days worth of clips uh of reading but i have a feeling that i'm gonna get a lot of them in because i'm loving the fact that so many authors are doing novellas they're not putting in full-fledged books um into this very hard topic um they are definitely being as an escape and things like that so i'm super excited about that but uh i just thought i'd check in with you guys because i'm sure i had some like extra footage and you know some music montage which i am loving the music that i am finding although the, i am a little worried that you know in the future they may end up copywriting the music i don't know um how that works i know it's super expensive expensive but um i'm definitely thinking about different ways to add music but not have to um whatchamacallit not have to worry about that in the future so pretty much getting a paid ex paid subscription um and if you want to help out with that, you guys know that my Ko-fi link and my PayPal link are down in the description box. Um, 
that is what those two links are for and that is what I use the money for uh, to enhance the videos that I sent that I give you guys in production in production value all of that so when you guys give your donations it is greatly appreciated and that is what it's used for um, like I've said in the past that you know if you give uh, monies on occasion it goes towards this because this is sort of like my job right now um, and I am revolving everything into it I mean when it comes to the music when it comes to reading the books when it comes to video production when it comes to start looking for a new computer because it's inevitable that I'm gonna have to get a new computer here shortly um, so yeah all of those donations that you guys you know give to me that is what it goes for and I greatly appreciate it so um, check out the next clip I guess yeah Hello. It has been a couple days, but I have still been reading. Um, I just took a break on the quarantine books and things like that. So I'm going to start back into the quarantine books. I read like one or two chapters of Love in Quarantine by uh, Kaylee Scott and Audrey Kalud. I think that's the author's name. It's a co-write. Um, there here's the picture of the book uh, but yeah so this this story deals with a sports star I can't remember if it's football or if it is baseball but he has been accused of using steroids and he was hiding out at his friend's house who is a doctor and then quarantine hits and he is stuck in this guy's apartment which is a little weird because the city went on lockdown and yes he's in this guy's apartment but um he lives like 20 minutes away if i if i read that correctly he lives like 20 minutes away why what was stopping him from driving from his from his friend's house to his house um so that he could have all the comforts of his million dollar mansion or whatever and wasn't stuck in his friend's like apartment oh I'm stuck in my friend's apartment but uh while he's like trying to figure that out he notices that the walls are super thin which is why he wants to go home and stuff like that but then he goes out to the balcony and sees this beautiful woman that is doing yoga and it piques his fancy so he's like hmm maybe it's not gonna be that bad 
Uh, and yeah, so that's where we're at on that one. I'm kind of excited to find out where it goes. Um, the authors did put a sort of warning on the beginning of it to um, sort of give like this context of, you know, we're using things that are going on and then we're fictionalizing them and then uh, what our hopes sort of will be for this uh, quarantine and for this virus, this pandemic and things like that. So I'm interested in to s I am interested to see where the authors end up taking it. Um, I am back in my own car, but I forgot my stinking drink again and it drives me absolutely crazy. So I think I'm going to run to the store and get something to drink because an hour and a half of sitting in this car is going to, uh, it's going to make me parched. So luckily I have like a McDonald's right across the street, so I might have to hit that up. Alrighty. I will check in with you guys after I finish Love in Quarantine. Hi guys, so let's talk Love in Quarantine by Kaylee Scott and Audrey Carlin while I eat the breakfast my 12 year old uh, prepared for me. So I finished the book late last night and 
I really enjoyed it. So the premise of it is that we have a football player who is hiding out from the paparazzi and, uh, you know, has a little bit of a scandal that goes with his name and with his team and stuff like that. Some pictures came out of him in an uncompromising position. Um, and he ends up in San Francisco, I believe it is. Um, about 20 miles away from his house in his best friend's condo or apartment or uh, building, what have you. So as he's getting all this bad news about how he's going to have to stay and be quarantined, he finds out that there is this sexy, sexy woman that lives next door to him. So, you know. The next door neighbor is a romance author. Ooh. She has a little bit of... um of writer's block so when she ends up seeing him off of the balcony her juices start to flow because he is a fine specimen of an athlete and is like yes yeah. so they build a friendship during the 14 days that you're supposed to stay quarantined before you make contact with anyone else just in case you're exposed you know 14 days and allows you to you know, make sure that you don't have the virus. I really enjoyed the story. There were some seriously sexy moments, even though they were in quarantine ap apart. There were some very, very sexy scenes in there. Woo! Steamy, steamy. And then when they finally did end up getting together, there were some steamy scenes. Um, I did feel that the conflict at the end wasn't uh, as fleshed out as it could have been they could have been discussing sort of the conflict during the days but then at the same time the story is broken down to the 14 days that's I mean that's the story it's not like months went by or anything like that it was specifically the 14 days so I was like okay I sort of understood how you know the things at the end sort of felt a little rushed for me but other than that I really really enjoyed the book and uh, I am getting into Quarantine and Chill by Kenya Wright now yes uh, as I continue to eat my waffles and bacon and uh, have a good time so I will check back with you guys in a little bit Okay, let's talk about love of, uh, uh, oh my God, about Quarantine and Chill by Kenya Wright. Woohoo! So this is, this book actually is the uh, initiation and spark for this project. Um, it, I didn't read it first, but oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I, it, this book is like, beautiful and scary and sexy oh is it sexy and um this i guess you could say is a example of taking a crappy situation which is coronavirus uh the quarantine everything like that people being stuck at home um people staying at home and taking a story that has scared the world in real lifetime and making it something so hopeful and beautiful and um, inspiring, right? So we have Kamal, yes, Kamal, who is a security CEO and his company is based in New York and they are just about to go into lockdown uh, for the quarantine stuff like that and then you have Jade who is a family friend that is staying with his with Kamal's sister's dog she's dog sitting but she is also an artist and she has her uh, shop and she's usually uh, based in California but she came to New York while uh, Zora, Jade's best friend and Kamal's sister 
goes on her honeymoon to take care of the dog and when the quarantine ends up happening and the governor shuts down New York and things like that Kamal ends up going home to his million dollar freaking condo to find his live-in girlfriend cheating on him Woo! things go crazy so Kamal ends up going over to his sister's apartment forgetting that the dog is there forgetting that someone's going to be staying there thinking he can just kind of hang out there or what have you now they have been family friends for a long time and you know they knew each other and sort of felt an attraction but was like ah uh, no that's my sister's best friend uh nope that is my best friend's brother so we can't cross those lines or anything like that well the first couple of days while they're in lockdown they figure out that you know what there is more to our relationship than just best friend and you know type thing so they start to explore that lots of drama lots of things end up happening throughout this story but it is so good it is so good and make sure that you're not skimming through the book because they are there are wonderful wonderful pieces of artwork within the story um and then there's also some not safe for work artwork so be warned mature audiences should only read this book Woo. Woo. So, whoo -hoo. goodness 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 um but yes I, I just loved every single moment of it like i said it gives hope and it uh brings beauty and into this crappy sort of um situation that we all found ourselves in and uh yeah i i'm so glad that this is the book that sparked this project um and even happy that i didn't read it first because then every other book that i read would be living up to this one um and even though this is like the third or fourth book <sighs> that i've read for the project um yeah people are gonna have to like i i really hope that the next couple books that i have um live up to it as well should be very very interesting um i am gonna take a break from reading them because i have some other books that i need to jump into but uh the next clip i'll have for you guys is back to reading quarantine books so we'll see you then i'm not sure when i'm gonna cut this off i'm not sure mm, not sure we'll see so i'll see you guys in the next clip Alrighty, we have our in bed uh review of under lockdown by jamie knight this is like book number two in the love under lockdown series uh by jamie knight these are all quick novellas um like super short um less than two hours i would say less than 100 pages for most of them um and i'm starting to see that there are a few things that this revolves around one being bdsm which is cool because they're like really like throwing out some guidelines but it seems like all the males want pets and all the females are either virgins or super inexperienced i just said a couple days ago that virgins are really getting overdone for me so yeah not i hopefully the next book uh, that I pick up which is under strict orders doesn't have a virgin in it I would greatly appreciate that but I don't know it's part of a series so we may have another virgin in that one uh, but that'll be the next book that I am reading a uh, quick rundown of this one like I said so we have a lawyer that is trying to make a partner or trying to make partner and he's into his assistant his assistant wants to be a submissive and has this need for it she's also a virgin and then lockdown ends up happening and then they end up getting together and then it's insta love and under 100 pages real quick fast in a hurry and that is how that one goes so on to the next book in this series which is under strict orders book number three 
uh, for the Love Under Lockdown series. And I've lost count of how many books I've now read for this quarantine project, but this is the next book that I'm going to talk to you about. So I will see you guys when I am done with it. Actually, I probably won't see you guys because it'll probably be like super late and I'm in my bonnet already. So uh, I may do that update in the morning because I have a feeling I'll get done with this, but it may be dark in the room and I can't be doing that. The guy over there would probably get mad at me. So um, I will see you guys probably in the morning, but definitely after I finish. Well, in the morning after I finish this book. So see you later. Okay, guys, I forgot to do clips for Under Lockdown, which by Jamie King, which was another quick novella from um, Jamie King in her Love in Lockdown series. Uh, I finished that one late on Saturday night, and then I immediately read under strict orders by jamie king and i finished this one just just under the midnight time frame for saturday night which is why both of these uh books were reviewed in my sunday wrap up um and oh they went downhill they were very formulaic and um this was book two and book three in this series and there are three other books in the series that I won't be reading. Um, so I am moving on. I, I don't even want to discuss them because that's just where I'm at with that. So I'm moving on to the last book of this quarantine project, which is The Two of Us by Kennedy Fox. Now, this is kind of a little disturbing because it's part of a duet and uh, the do the second part of the duet doesn't come out for a little while. So I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this. Uh, I would have preferred to read full like books that are already out or a uh, series that were already out type thing. So we will see how this goes. But this is supposed to be uh, the duets called Love in Isolation, I think it is or yeah, Love in Isolation is the series. So a uh, duet name, Ugh, not a series. So we will see how it goes. And I will check in with you guys on this last book once I finish it and then we will close out this quarantine project because I have some people waiting for it so we'll see you guys in a bit <sighs> okay hello 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 so no I have not finished the two of us by Kennedy Fox however the husband's back is hurting him today so he is upstairs in bed still because he took the day off work because he teleworks and um I decided to come downstairs and sit in my chair um but the downfall to that is this yes that is our 70 inch I think it's 70 65 70 inch television that I have to now force myself not to turn on because it can be very, very tempting. It's a smart television at that, which means I can connect to Disney Plus, I can connect to Netflix, I can connect to all my, all my stuff, all my apps, and I could like fall down rabbit holes of binge watching television shows instead of reading. So I'm gonna force myself to sit here in my chair no television on and read the two of us get it done so that I can close out this vlog that I think I already closed out I can't remember what I put the last clip but yeah gotta do what I gotta do right <laughs> so funny
Hi guys, last clip. Oh my goodness, so I just finished, well not really just finished, a little bit ago, uh, but I finished The Two of Us today by Kennedy Fox and let me just tell you it was super spicy sexy yummy oh my god thank you Tamika for suggesting that I read this um for my quarantine project for this quarantine project right here um I knew I didn't want to finish this project off on a bad point which is such a good thing because those last two books that I did read were kind of doozies and put me into like a slump for this project but this one definitely gave it to me like I know the writing pair of Kennedy Fox does oh my goodness I love them I know there's a reason why I love them and this is probably one of the reasons there were some eye rolling moments in this book I think it dealt with the coronavirus in a very interesting way. I kind of wanted um, sort of not the days to be counted off to me, um, but then they did finally start doing that. It started to like zoom ahead and it wasn't a day to day type thing that went on. Um, but at the same time, they gave really good context and there was a little drama that was dropped in there that I was like uh, I don't know I was really leery about this book in the first place because it's part of a duet but lo and behold this is actually a standalone book it deals with one couple and the second book in this duet deals with another couple now you will have to read this book before you read that book but you don't have to wait for anything more at the end of this one. You get to check back in with the people, but uh, this is a full story for this couple and I just really loved it. There is so much sexual tension that goes on within the beginning parts of the story and I loved it because it's brother's best friend, family, um, like rich girl rich boy or excuse me rich girl poor guy sort of dynamic uh going on I don't feel good enough for you and you feel like you know I'm not worthy of you and so much of that going on so there were some definite eye roll moments and some moments where I was just like a ah, little a little, little annoyed with some of the character uh things that are being things that were being said but for the most part everything by the end of it was all good and gravy and I loved this book loved it really 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 enjoyed it and look forward to reading the next book um so that concludes my quarantine project I don't know if I signed off in one of the other clips uh, I'll probably edit it so you don't even see it if I did um but this is my final closing so I read a whole bunch of books for quarantine uh, that had the subject matter of quarantine. Some of them were not up to par. Some of them were not up to par. I think um, I'll insert how many what the count ended up being, uh, how many I liked over the overall count. I think the percentage ends up being like a 50 50 thing. I want to say, let's see, let me think back. Um, I know the first book I read I enjoyed I was like yes good kickoff second book didn't really like it all that much um, the third book I think I enjoyed the fourth book I remember enjoying actually I rem the fourth book I'm pretty sure is like super super hot and I loved it um, the fifth and sixth book I didn't particularly care for and then the seventh book is this last one and I did enjoy it so uh, I think I'll insert the pictures of the books as I go along and I might like do like I don't know I'll figure something out to make it cool so that you know which books I liked and which books I didn't maybe like do the thumbs up thumbs down thing uh, in the graphics because I have those so I can put those in and yes Oh my goodness it was so much fun um i hope you guys enjoy these clips and uh this video yes um since i've been hinting at it and some of you guys have left comments on some of my other videos because i've talked about it and hinted at it in those videos uh, i hope you enjoy this yes i jumped on that 
quarantine bomb for you. There are so many more other books out there that deal with this very heavy topic and I like that some of the authors that I did get to read went for the topic as giving not really giving like information on it but not even not even really lightening up the topic but using the topic in a way that brings hope and shows that there is more than just the bad parts that we may be seeing on the television or getting ourselves worked up and anxiety ridden for on the you know the news and stuff like that I don't know what I'm saying right now but anyways yes I took that I took that uh landmine for you guys and uh hopefully you will take my recommendations on which ones I did enjoy and take the parts on why I enjoyed them and take a chance on those books and stay far away from the ones that I didn't enjoy um and that's not to be like rude to the authors or anything like that but you know hey hey if we have similar taste you're probably going to feel the same way I did when I read the books um so as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. I have my PayPal and my Kofi links down there, affiliate links and storefront are down there as well. I'm doing better at uh, updating that. Uh, by the time you guys see this, I don't know how long it has been uh, because I am sort of on a little break. Um, but yeah. I'm super excited to get this out to you guys, and I hope you enjoy it when you do see it. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video.